どうも、炭蔵です。本日の動画なんですけれども、インタビュー動画になります。といっても、僕がインタビューをするのではありません。えー、先日ですね、トラちゃんが英語での動画を上げてくれました。知ってた人もいるかもしれないし、びっくりした方もおられると思います。彼はあんな感じでですね帰国子女などこともあって結構な多言語を得意としてます今回はそのトラにリュブリアナ・グスト時代のチームメートブラッシュ君にインタビューを取ってもらいましたブラッシュ君なんですけれどもリュブリアナ・グストのチームがあるスロベニアの出身の元選手ですで彼は今地元スロベニアの大学に通いながら自転車競技のコーチの勉強をしつつ13歳から15歳ぐらいちょうど僕がやってる鍛造塾のちょっと上の方のなりますよねの選手たちのコーチをやっていますで今回はスロベニアという国のことをお聞きしながらスロベニアの自転車事情結構ですねスロベニアってプロの選手がプ,あのプロツアーで走る選手が結構多いんですよねなのでちっちゃい200万人ぐらいしかいない国からどんな風にしてたくさんのプロツアーの選手が排出されているのかその自転車の指導であったりとかスロベニアという国とその中での自転車事情みたいなところを何回かに分けてお伝えしていこうと思いますそれではインタビュー動画の方をご覧くださいオッケーハイブラッシュ Hey Pola, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, and you? Yeah, it's, it's good, it's good, it's It's doing just fine. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been two years. So,、uh, yeah, when I was in Slovenia, so it's a very long time, I feel. Oh, yeah, that's been, that's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. You, you look like you haven't, you haven't fought for this. You look done different from two years ago. I look very <laughs> fat, but now, but you look the same. <laughs> yeah, my. My beard is still quite weak, so <laughs> I, did, I think I didn't change much. <laughs> yeah, but you look, you look, you look a, bit, a bit stronger from up in the upper yeah, body. I'm very big. Yeah, because also I go to the gym every what's called, three days or something like that because I,、ah. I start loving weight training. Aha, <laughs>、uh -huh, okay, so also, I you're planning loving... to become a sprinter one day. <laughs> yeah, McDonald's sprinter, I think. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I also got preparation for this recording. You know, my t shirt. Oh, Ljubljana. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Is, I also got the... Ljubljana here. <laughs> oh, nice. So we are recording for Ljubljana. We should、yeah. hashtag、uh, Love Slovenia. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel Slovenia, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Okay, so、uh, Blash, can you give us some、um, your self introduction to the viewer?、Uh, yeah, of course.、Uh, so, my name is、uh, Blash de Bevets.、Uh, I'm coming from the、uh, country of Slovenia. I am 21 years old and、um, I'm an ex、uh, continental rider. I was riding with、uh, Tora two years ago in the Ljubljana Gasto Zerum team. Um, but yeah, currently I'm working、uh, with、uh, young riders, with developing of young riders.、Uh, so it's like under 13, under 14, under 15 categories. So those are the youngest categories in cycling.、Um, and、uh, besides of that, I'm also studying、uh, sports coaching、uh, to get a degree to become an、like, official coach. One day to、mm -hmm. developing, de developing young riders or work, working with,、uh, with the pro riders, maybe one day. That's the plan.、Mm -hmm. So, you're studying in university for、uh, become a sport coaching or、uh, the cycling coach? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we have like、uh, some very、uh, some like classic subjects like anatomy, physiology. Uh, biology, but then we have some subjects that are focused only about cycling, so about tapering,、uh, structured workout. Why are we doing some kind of, of, of workout? Like, yeah, so we are learning things like this, which will 
be very useful in the in my career or to explain those mm. things to some to my trainees or to someone else. So, yeah, it's a quite useful. So stuff. it sounds like it sounds like best place to become a cycling coach. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. To you can get a very good education if you if you want to get some knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first topic is about Slovenia. So can you give us um, the introduction about Slovenia, like the population and the culture, the language, or something like that? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, Slovenia it's it's a very small country. It's much smaller than than Japan. It's only uh, we only have two million people here, two million people here. Um, so yeah, it's a small country, very green with a lot of uh, forests. Uh, it's uh, located in Central Europe, and it's yeah, it's placed between the Alps and Mediterranean Sea. So. Uh, because of that also the culture is very diverse here so we have like very urban places like around city like for example Ljubljana which is the capital of of Slovenia but then there's still a lot of uh, rural regions so like countryside and uh, forest uh, where actually woods and forests are covering more than half of Slovenia so it's that's why it's called the green mm. country um, so yeah, there's also a lot of mountains, uh, and because of that, it's very good to good place to ride a bike because you have like flats, one minute climb, ten minute climb, and one hour climb in the in the area of 20 kilometers. So it's great place to train different stuff. So for a cyclist, I think it's a great area to train, uh, and it's also interesting place in uh, terms of uh, tourism because you can see uh, yeah like, like i said a very a lot of things in a very small area uh for example like you can um in the morning you can uh you can ski in the mountains but one two hours later you can swim in the sea so um yeah it's a uh, very interesting uh, country in terms of tourism we have also like lakes caves uh, and things like this so uh, it's getting more and more like touristic country uh, but yeah but Tora you were here almost one year but what do you think what is the most interesting <laughs> thing you found in Slovenia the interesting point or um, I mean the Slovenia is a very beautiful country for me like when I flying to Slovenia and then flying back to Japan I I see the mountains and lakes and everything and it's very as you said before like it's a very green country but the mountains and the woods looks very beautiful and also uh, the culture is very chilled like um the people are very relaxing not very busy and also the food is nice i mean <laughs> of course, of course. Tea. i love it rough tea. Oh yeah, Chirapi are the as best. A, yeah, yeah. As a Japanese, I miss. Uh, I'm. I really miss the fish when I was, when I stayed in Slovenia. But the meat food is very really nice. I normally Japanese people prefer fish or beef. It's kind of uh, meat or it's um. It's kind of the what's called it. The questionable one. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, I also prefer meat so it, it, it was very nice so well, I like that to is. Slovenia and also if I trip to Europe oh, that sounds well, great <laughs> yeah I want to go to Slovenia again <laughs> just because of the food <laughs> <laughs> yeah I love it it's a very beautiful country like the, to, the, I think the Slovenia has very really good tourism tourism Okay. It's about Slovenian cycling culture. Uh, cyclists were more or less just uh, um, even people who are not into cycling, um, and also it was interesting.